you know, usually when you race, you're, you know you're going to race, like, way ahead of time. But I got called for this race in November. I flew to Abu Dhabi a couple months later. I mean, last week it hadn't even hit me yet that I was going to go race a solar car halfway around the world. You guys want us to go? Oh, sorry, come on, let's go. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Abu Dhabi Solar Challenge. I'm feeling terrific. I got five hours of sleep last night, man. That's the most I've had since I got here. Three, two, one. Yeah, let's go, Blue Man. We designed this car for, you know, two races, the World Solar Challenge and the American Solar Challenge. You don't really design cars to last as long as this one has. We're, we're here to enjoy ourselves and see what happens. It's cool to be with a bunch of guys who are, I mean, who've raced from like 99 on through last year. The last time I really raced was 2008. So we have a really cool range. Everyone has a slightly different way of doing things, but it's still like that Michigan way that fits us all together, which is really cool. Today is the first day of the Abu Dhabi Solar Challenge. Right now we're charging while we're checking up on the car. Waste on three. One, two, three. Waste. Trying to get as much energy as we possibly can in these 15 minutes. Let me get out now. It's kind of nice also while the other teams all come in and you can kind of see how, how other teams are doing. I'm the, the head strategist for this race. What I do is figure out how fast we should drive. All right, talk to you about the sound. Taking all the information from the car, from the route, from the weather, um, and try to you know predict everything we can and determine how most efficiently we can race. Get out of here. And and overall, you know how we can win. Go go. <laughs> You're alumni, you're not as coordinated. Yeah, I know, you should be better at this. <laughs> this is my first time, you know, calling the shots. Um, kind of nervous. Don't didn't really know, you know, how I how I would do, but you know, I think I think it's it's good. I think I've I've been doing pretty well. You know, I'm I've been kind of doing this as as a learning experience and it's great to just sit in and chase and everyone kind of, you know, has a lot more knowledge than, you know, the the team that we're normally made of, which, you know, is, is great. It's a great opportunity to have. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Good luck! All right, so we're going to find out in the morning where we are on actual placements with penalties, if appropriate. Theoretically, that keeps us in second place. We're not going to do anything to control taking over first, right? There's nothing we can do to just take it from PI. PI has to screw up. Same way with Arrow, we have to screw up. So taking dumb chances, doing anything reckless to try and you know gain on first is only going to cost us third. So. We want to run a fast race, we want to run a safe and conservative race, as always, but even more so tomorrow. So, you know, we've had a great couple days here, a great trip in general. I've enjoyed working with you guys. Tomorrow's our last chance. Let's finish it strong. Um, get on our marks, get clean, and uh, finish this thing right. Okay. Fast go fast and smooth, go blue. Oh! Go blue. Oh! Today was the sort of make it or break it day. Lincoln, right. Blue, you're clear to move right. Move right. We were about uh, four minutes behind PI, and we knew that in order to win today, we would have to go the speed limit the whole time, go as fast as we're allowed to go, hit all of our speed changes right on time, go through roundabouts fast, go over speed bumps fast. Copy six here, box him out, box him out. You got it, you got it, you're good. 
take the inside line when we can, basically do everything to shave just milliseconds off of every step of the race. What the You're good, you're, you're good. You're good, you're good. Jeez. Nice driving. Good job, Preston. Hold position blue. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Merge left, you're clear to merge left. You know, well we didn't know how this race was gonna turn out. At one point it was like we were gonna hit zero percent. And then uh, it was a little sunnier than we thought it was gonna be. The winds weren't as bad as we thought. Everybody all right? I'm glad I didn't have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I was waiting for a crunch. I was like, oh my god, good driving. You're a loose scout. And I mean, we've just done a, an overwhelmingly great job. Um, it's kind of surprising. I mean, that's it's awesome. Do you think you've won the competition? I have no idea. I think it's going to come down to who gets more penalties because right now it seems like we're neck and neck with the other teams at the front. Second exit. <laughs> That's the second exit at the roundabout, which is a left turn into the stage area onto the gravel road. So he's turning left on the gravel. I'm sure that they'll tell us where to go. Oh, yeah, <laughs> this is it. And the first place winner in the Abu Dhabi Solar Channel for 2015 is the University of Michigan. Guys, no equipment. No one said we're gonna go compete for first. Everyone just sort of, there was this morph that just started happening and happening. And then everyone was right back in race mode and by day three it had just clicked. I mean, we were, we were pretty solid. We'd be ready for day four and I mean, we were ready to start racing at that point. <laughs> Next is, is WSC. Next is, is the World Solar Challenge. It won't be this team, you know, it'll be a different team, a different car um, and a, a bigger race and you know, I, I, I can't wait to see what's going to happen. When does WSC start? October 18th. That's exactly nine months.